Hey, it's Jim at Bullion RV in Duluth saying hello. You have clicked on a travel trailer. It's the Transcend 260 RB from Grand Design. It's a beautiful trailer. It's affordable. Great couples camper. Nothing but good things to say about this. Uh, it has a lot of great features that I am about to show you. Bullion RV is in Duluth, Minnesota. We've been here for since the 1950s. It's family run, family operated. Joe Bullion's my boss. He's in there right now, wondering where I am. I'm making a video, I'm showing him the Transcend. This is a beautiful trailer. The reason I bring up family owned and operated is because if you owned and operated a dealership and you had your name on the sign out front, think about how you would view customer experience. It matters. The Grand Design slogan is building customers for life and that's the same thing here at Bullion. We've got one dealership. We've got a lot of campers here. It's not a small operation. We've got 24 service bays. But the idea is to build customers for life. And we've got customers here that have been that have bought many, many campers. We've got salesmen that have been here for 20 years. So it's a legit place, a legit reputation. Uh, I don't know how how I don't know if you know how hard it is to maintain a 4.2 uh, review on Google, but folks typically uh, are more fired up to talk about negative things than they are about positive things. The fact of the matter is we do a good job here. And so as you can see, I'm giving you the walk around, pass through storage, battery shutoff, cable hookup, two full 20 pound LP tanks, Power tongue jack. They're not full yet. They will be though. Here's your plug-in back here. Actually got some room to show this trailer here today. Walkable roof. Got the ladder. Spare tire. Transcend is Grand Designs. most affordable product. The idea is you'll start with the Transcend travel trailer and in some years you'll be trading up to that solitude reflection, solitude fifth wheel when you retire. And that's their plan. And it's a good one because these are solid, beautiful, well-made campers. Let's take a look inside. I feel like Grand Design should trademark the interior. Look at these. They look great. They feel great. The cabinetry, the drawers, the doors, everything is very solid. I'm going to start up here in the bedroom. Queen size bed. Hanging storage either side. There is a spot on both sides for a CPAP or whatever device you might need to plug in at night. There's a uh, USB port and there's plugins there. Place for a TV right there. There's a fan up here and give you a look around before I go into detail. You can see it's a nice big beautiful camper. The sink is up front, deep, stainless. You'll notice counter space on either side of the sink, which is as it should be and not always how it is. That's a major complaint campers have. There's no counter space next to the sink or next to the oven or the stove. Both of those problems are solved on this one. You can hear that these cupboard doors are solid. I open them up and they don't go ching and ing and ing and ing because they're nice. Storage underneath there. Voluminous refrigerator. 
equally voluminous freezer. Plenty of room in there for different things. I suppose a person could put maybe a frozen novelty item from Dairy Queen, like a, oh, maybe, maybe Dilly Bars would fit in there. That'd be good. Perhaps a popular Minnesota panfish, like a crappie, could go in there. Stove and oven, again, counter space next to the stove, just like real life when you're cooking, right? Storage there, storage here, nice solid drawers. I wish you could feel the glide and ride on those drawers. It's obvious that they're quality items. Another complaint that folks have when camping, besides not enough counter space, it's not enough storage in the kitchen. Again, not a problem on this guy. That's a big pantry. I made that at my home. Next to the pantry is TV, entertainment center with storage up above. That storage could be kitchen items or it could be anything. Storage down below, a lot. I'll turn that light on if I can. Give you another look at this. Big deep storage. Very nice. Straight back from this TV. Another complaint that people have about campers is you got to crane your neck to watch the TV. Not on this guy. A couple of big, beautiful recliners. Oh, I can tell you in all honesty, they're very comfortable. So, spot to watch TV. The dinette is there. Of course, that folds into a bed. You know what else I love about this camper is the floor. You'll see no, not only is it stylish and attractive, you'll see no uh, heat vents in there to collect dust, dirt, dog hair, bits of food, popsicle sticks, I mean, dilly bar sticks. And to the bathroom, big, voluminous rear bathroom, huge, huge bathroom. Another complaint we hear, there's no, there's no leg room when you're sitting on the john. Not a problem in this coach. It's a porcelain bowl. Another complaint we hear, no linen storage. Again, not a problem in this one. Nice big shower. Check. Another complaint we hear, there isn't counter space in the bathroom for my beauty supplies. Not a problem in this coach. Lots of counter space. Flattening irons, curling irons, iron irons, you name it, any kind of iron. Another complaint we hear, there isn't three big giant mirrored medicine cabinets that function as a fun house. Not a problem here. Ooh, where am I? Ah, which one's the villain and which one's simply the image of the villain? Did I go too far there? Perhaps. Perhaps I did. Another look around. <laughs> Sorry. Again, I'm Jim, Bullion RV. Grand design says it best right there. We strive for nothing less than customers for life. That's appropriate for Bullion RV as well, and it's appropriate for me. I want you to have a positive, even fun RV buying experience so that we have a customer for life, and I have a customer for life, frankly. Give me a call anytime, 218-336. 3619. Love to talk to you about this camp or camper or any other camper. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you for listening. <laughs>